Right then, Morgan, well, you did the foundation tier back in the summer, and when you sat, you were 105, which was a D. So you were about oh, 15 marks off, maybe, what you need for a grade C. You estimate on this paper you got 69. If you get 69, that's good enough for a C. Let's see how close to 69 you are. Forty-four and twenty-three, forty-one and twelve, thirty-six. Right, you've missed out here. One on eighteen, so you're not going to get those two marks. You're only going to get one of them. So two, three, two, one. That one's right, but that one's wrong. You have to use all digits you want to make a four digit number yours is only a two digit number 11 and 34 are correct 8000 is right that's right and that's right so uh what do we got there two four two two five eight nine ten eleven seventeen so a couple of marks less than you were expecting there. 67 is correct. This one's wrong. Okay, it's not going to ask you to do the same thing that you did there, but with a different number. They're asking you to work out a different thing. So the value is 88. Then it's seven times the number, which we don't know. I'll call it N, add four. And that's what you want to work out. So then you solve that like an equation. <laughs> Excuse me, like an equation. So first of all, you take four off both sides. And then to get to the N, you have to get rid of the times by seven by dividing by seven. And 84 divided by seven is 12. So nothing for that second part. 16, 12, 14, 8 is good, but they would be looking for you to set that out as a frequency chart where you'd have um, sport tally frequency, something like that is what they'd be looking for. Four for the page. Okay, for your graph, it's nicely spread out, that's fine. You're going to lose. Um, a mark though because you haven't labeled your axes so they'd be looking for you to say there choice of sport and here they'd be looking for you to call that the frequency so three out of four for that one for that 42 centimeters is correct 54 centimeters squared is correct 10 for the page 66 is right this is wrong what you've got here is 3x add 4x is 7x take away 1x is 6x that's right well done okay 54 degrees that doesn't look 54 degrees to me 54 degrees would take you up there so you haven't measured that angle correctly your line however is nine centimeters long so you will lose the mark for that but you will get the two marks one for the length of the line and one for making a triangle obtuse is between 90 and 180 reflex is bigger than 180 so for that you have got seven marks Right, that, all you've done there is work out the area of one of the faces of the cube, uh, cuboid. What you need to do is take a look how I explain that. We will be doing some volume work later this term, but um, see if you can get a head start by watching how I explain that in the video. That's correct with you, well done. Take the line through the shape, like that but the ones that you've got there are right. So four for that page. 
Now this one everybody seems to be getting wrong. Let's see if that includes you. Yep, your crosses are in the wrong place. Okay, so I'll certainly be explaining this on Monday. Um, the first thing you need to do is make sure you know what each little square on each axis is worth. And you have to do it on both because they're not always the same. So you can see here on this axis, you went from 0 to 10 in 10 jumps. So each little square is worth 1. But on this axis, you're going from 0 to 20 in 10 jumps. So each little square must be worth 2. So 114.43 is there and 43 is just above. 85.32, again 85 is right with you, 32 is just above. And then with this one, 24 is there and 9 is there, so it's, each one is slightly out. Then in order to make a conversion graph you have to join those dots up and take it through 0, 0, like that. So your points are out, you haven't drawn the graph, so that's going to be 0. And then for this one, obviously 370 on Mars isn't anywhere near going to fit on your graph. So you have to find something that does and then multiply it up. So what you're looking for is to read off 37 and then multiply it by 10. So 37 will be there, across to your graph, read it down, whatever it comes out to be, multiply it by 10. And that's the method they're looking for there. That's worth two, good. So two for that page. And then here, what you need to do is watch how I explain this on the video clip and then have a go at some yourselves. Go to Jones the Sum, go to Foundation Topics and have a look at Games of Chance because they carry lots of marks, they come up frequently and there's something you should be able to do. We'll certainly be practicing them in class but it's something you can focus in on your own as well. You can't divide the 18 by 2 because it's only half of the water that's been poured away. The bucket weighs the same in both. So you take those away and that tells you how much, how heavy half the water was. And you then use that to work out how heavy all the water is and then you can work out the bucket. So watch how I explain that on the video as well. So no marks on that page. 54 is correct, and so is 40. Well done. Five marks there. Uh, it's positive. It's on yours, 430. Are your points in the right place? Your points are in the right place, but your line of best fit shouldn't go much further beyond each of the points and it's a little bit, when you're drawing your, your line the best fit, you want it to be roughly the same slope as the crosses. So I would say that your line should look more like that than what it does. So I'm going to give you the two marks for the plot. You get the one mark for positive. I'm not giving you the mark for your line, but then I'll give you your um, estimate from your line. So we've got five, nine on that page. And that is correct, well done. So let's take a look now at your utility bills. 42 is correct. Then channel water is 0 0.02 times 700. Right, it's not 35, so that is right, but you've worked it out wrongly. Then you've worked out 10% of that, which is that, so that is correct, which means that is correct. 
Pedro should choose Manman as it is the cheapest option. So it is the cheapest option for yours because the maths is wrong. So you've concluded correctly. Your communication is pretty good. So I'm going to give you your communication marks. So out of nine, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So yours, where have we gone? Du, 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 du. Nine hundred and thirty six divided by two is not four hundred and sixty six, it's four hundred and sixty eight, and you go wrong from there. You're trying to do the right method, but then you go wrong from there. That's not what they're looking for. I'll explain that one on Monday. And here, no, those are wrong. Again, what we've got there is we know that that's a straight line. So if that's 50, that's 130. Those little tick marks mean that that's an isosceles triangle. So those two angles are equal. Together, they add up to 50 so that must be 25 and that must be 25 so I know that that one's 25 if that's 50 that's 50 look they're exactly the same because they're parallel so if that's 50 those two must add up to 130 which means that one must be 65 and that one must be 65 I know that that's 25 that's 65 and together those three must add up to 180 Take a look how I laid out on the video. One mark for that page. Okay. So, Tom, you reckon 69. I reckon that's not going to be a bad estimate, actually. 17, 21, 31, 38, 42, 44, 53, 62, 63. So it's a little bit low, but nevertheless, it's a grade C. Now, a grade C, 63, would get you a, a grade C, but it's a low grade C. It's going to be much better for you if you can be hitting 69.70 rather than scraping a 63. Nevertheless, for the first paper in a few weeks, that is good going. Well done, Tom.